Hey Collective, it's time to tap, tap, tap in. All right, so in today's Psychic Collective Knowing, I am going to um, do something a little different today. I am going to give you um, your psychic message, but I am also going to speak directly to a couple of people who I know are watching here. So I am going to do the common disclaimer, take the parts of this that resonate and leave the rest for the other folks, okay? So um, first things first, you could be dealing with emotions based on projections today. Um, you Or this can be coming up for you before weeks end. You could have thoughts in your mind of why did I do that? What am I doing? Um, why wasn't this successful? You could also be asking like, why are things changing or why have things began to change? These, This is external energy coming towards you. You could be waking up with these thoughts. It's also because you have something going on in the dream state that is pulling down on your energy, also wanting you to get up and feel defeated. Like right at the beginning of the day, I just heard frozen in fear. Um, or frozen with fear. Fear say yes. Okay. You all might want to, um, you all might want to clear your mind. For some reason, I am going through YouTube and I'm clearing my history also for some reason. So there could be something that you are watching um, some sort of content you're taking in that could be causing you to not feel very confident or happy about your future or decisions that are being made. You could also be listening to content that is like, in, maybe you're cross-watching content. Maybe it's intended for someone else, but you think that they're talking about you and now you're very self-conscious. So again, I said a couple of weeks ago, take a break. You still might want to do that or reduce the amount of um, readers you're taking in. I'm always going to be an advocate for that, even though I'm gifted as well. I think that you should be mostly uh, depending on your own intuition and only coming um, to YouTube to get confirmation for what you already know. Avoid... Um, readings that are giving you information about what's going on behind your back but don't give you solutions or tell you like where you're going to end up or how this works out well for you so be more cautious of what you are intaking um also if you have decided to um be in someone's life and also be deceptive expect to be blocked from them. Expect that you are going to be completely dismissed from that person's reality and life. Also, if you um, attempt to apologize, I think that the person will accept the apology. You'll still be completely dismissed. Also, um, you might think that you are getting away with something on someone or that they aren't aware, but they've been aware of you for a very long time. This person may have fought their intuition because it couldn't have been you um, and then maybe allowed you back in or allowed you some sort of access. It's denied now, literally access denied. If that meant that you were getting some sort of benefit from this person, you've been cut off. <laughs> Um, or vice versa. So you could be doing this to somebody, but this is particularly for someone who is doing it to another person. Um, also, the entire group uh, should be made aware that the person who you have tried to get information on, attack, dishonor, discredit, um, all of that kind of good stuff, that person has decided to start sending back to sender yeah so expect that you are going to start to receive karma for whatever this um nasty energy is that you've been sending out towards this person now this person has up to this point only like called judgment on folks but now they've realized that um it's time to get aggressive. I think I mentioned getting aggressive and having aggressive command in yesterday's session. That was a doozy. 
today's session, um, you are being warned or I am warning the, the, the watchers that um, anything that you have done in the past is now all being pushed back to you. Also, the person is fully aware that they are, in fact, an earth angel and the one, which is why you have been doing the attacks. So um, expect that your world is about to turn upside down. And if this is not for you, of course, you don't have to be concerned with that. But if it is you, your time is up and you're fucked really bad, really good and bad. Uh, as a matter of fact, whatever you are experiencing could have started for you a day or two ago. Yeah, because they're not playing with y'all asses no more. Um, and in other news, um, there is someone in your reality that is traveling. I feel like away from you, though, okay? I just heard I'm going to have an experience. I'm going to have an experience. There's a cat I see here, color like striped gray that might be left behind, okay? I heard kennel. Um, this experience that you're going to have might be with, I, I believe that there, there are four people in total here, but there's going to be a bonus person that is met. I heard three. But there's going to be a bonus energy, a bonus person that is met or added to this group. I don't feel like there is a plan right now for this person to be a part of whatever you have going on. But they, um, you might meet this person in like a sports bar or someone is going to meet this person in like a sports bar or a restaurant. Realize that there is some sort of resonance in um, lifestyle. And they might come aboard with whatever is going on or whatever you are doing. I feel like I'm I'm driving maybe out of town or something like that. I'm going somewhere. I heard close, but far away. <laughs> so whatever that means. Um, but there is an experience. Also, I was just um, in the backseat of a car with a couple. This couple is alone, okay? I'm just being allowed to observe them. This could be a husband and wife team who are, they're having a date night. They're going out, taking each other out, but this could be something really big or this could just be, um, this could be some sort of dinner with an outdoor cafe or some sort of large outdoor seating with lighting outside that hangs, um, hangs above, something like that. Okay. Now there is some sort of flatlining or some sort of dry. I don't know why I said flatlining. I really wanted to say like dry um, concrete. Why did I say flatlining? Spirit just said there will not be a death. Okay. So there's some sort of. Um, now I'm seeing like concreted, like um, this could be a backyard or this could be like the land around someone's home. I feel like it's concreted. I don't know why I see this, but I feel very, I feel like the, this place is not welcoming or friendly. Now, not that it's like, it's like haunted or something like that, but more like it's just um, something about it seems a little I don't see any grass here and I don't see any trees here. I just see a bunch of concrete. I also see some sort of large like um, stone or brick wall around this. This is a large home or large like living unit or of some nature, but this is, it's weird. Um, it just, it just seems very bland or dry or something. And although the property gives me that energy, like it gives me that look, there's going to, you get, you're going to have a great time on the inside. Now, you probably need to be aware that um, either you have or someone else is in a complete I give zero energy. Um, completely like I've completely washed my hands 
of something or someone. I heard I'm not going back. Um, somebody is done here. The 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 deal is for some reason I see. T I I heard turtle. I see something again. Another number three. like turtle three or something like that three turtles i don't know um but somebody is in a they're in an energy of like if it's behind me i'm not turning around like if it's in front of me i'm walking towards it if it's on the side of me you with me you better be paying attention to what you're doing too because i am moving forward kind of energy i just heard i'm leaving all of that behind I feel like this is a masculine energy who's talking, but I see a woman, okay? Also, the um, the pretending or fake phone calls, text messages from random numbers, um, pretending to be somebody looking for somebody else, the person knows who you are. Um, so just be honest about who you are. The games and the, the trickery is the reason that you can't approach this person properly now. The fact that they know who you are um, only deepens their desire to stay away from you. It would be in your best interest to Put on your big girl panties, your big boy draws, right? And approach the person with respect and maturity and have a conversation. Otherwise, you're only putting yourself in some sort of loop of being dismissed again from them. Also, be careful how you approach this person because I feel like another person is going to talk to someone and they're going to approach them um, and say something that they think is witty, but it's going to come off as rude. And that's going to completely like dismantle any attempt. It would be best that you truly approach this person like you would. Whoever I'm talking to, you might have some sort of social anxiety or social like, um, like maybe you really don't know how to do small talk with people. So you should approach this person like you would approach your boss. If you wouldn't say it to your boss, don't say it to that person. And if you have a close relationship with your boss and you would say anything, then approach this person like you would approach a pastor, your pastor, your grandmother's pastor, with caution, in other words, okay? Last but not least, and we're going to end this. Um, it's probably best you know, if you feel like you've been in a cycle um, and you've been hearing them. it's coming to an end. It's coming to an end. You almost, almost, I do believe that your cycle has ended already. I do believe that your cycle may have ended with the last, um, full moon or with the last new moon, however, or, or right before it, by the way, right before maybe the last new moon. Yeah. However, you could feel like, well, things haven't changed or picked up or, or things are not different. Don't worry about that. They are coming and everything that you're doing. So these little steps that you're making, for some reason, I feel like someone's writing or filling out application or like there's some sort of um, writing that's happening here. This thing is going to start to move for you. It has legs and it's going to start to move. You're just looking for energy to come in to you from the outside that you've been manifesting. It's coming. Just hold on. The heavy thoughts that you are having, remember, they do not belong to you. So do not follow that energy. In other words, don't move on the negative energy that you're feeling about yourself. You know what I'm talking about without getting into detail. You are already at the end. By the way, I have to say to somebody, you won. Winner, 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 chicken dinner. You're the winner. They're the loser, losers, losers. All right, I'm gonna leave this here. It's been a gift and a blessing to dive into the unknown for you. I look forward to doing it again soon. Toodles, poodles.